Hello folks, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we'll go ahead and talk about validation loop. Before that, I want to give you an example. So we are trying to create a new position record and we'll provide a value for the first position title is software engineer, the location, the position is in London, England, and then I'm giving the maximum and minimum pay here. So we'll make it 70,000 and the maximum pay I'll put it 60,000. Okay. Now, this, this should not be a valid position because in this position, the minimum pay is greater than the maximum pay. Ideally, that's not going to never should be the scenario. You should not be allowed to save this position when this minimum pay is greater than the maximum pay. So if you try to save this, you still won't get you an error. It won't get you an error because you have not created a rule for it that, okay, how will Salesforce comes to know that this is what you want? So if you try to save it, even though it's a wrong position to be saved, but it lets you save it because you have not have any validation here. Now, before the user clicks on the save, I want to do a validation on this. Okay, you should not be allowed to save the record if this is the scenario. So we have to go ahead and create a new validation rule for this. So for new validation rule, click on the quick access menu, go to the view object link. And from the view object, if you scroll down, you will see block saying validation rules in this validation rule go ahead and click new now the first thing is what is the rule name so you will say minimum pay rule the next thing it asks you about the error condition formula and then it asks you about the error message now what is this the error condition formula means when you wanted to throw the error what is the condition that you wanted to throw the error and then the error message tells you if this condition comes out to be true, what is the error message that you want to display? So let's say I wanted to throw the error when the minimum pay is greater than the maximum pay. So you click on the insert field. It lists you all the objects here that you created. So we have position and on the right side of the position, it will show you all the fields for the position object. From here, you choose the minimum pay and you click on the insert button. Then there's an operator field. You select the operator. These are all the operators that are there. Addition, subtraction, logical, and everything. And then you, from here, I wanted to say min pay is greater than. So I'll click the greater than button here. And then another one, it should not, is greater than the maximum pay. So you go ahead and click on the maximum pay from here. Now, this is the, this is the minimum pay is greater than the maximum pay. So I, this is the condition for the error, okay? Now, what is the error that you wanted to throw when this condition is true? I wanted to throw minimum pay should not be greater than max pay. This is the error I wanted to throw when this scenario happens. Now, next thing they're asking is what is the location of this error? Do you want it to put the error message on the top of the page or do you want it in the field, like over the field? I want it on the top of the page so you can go ahead and click save. Now, this is the validation rule that you have created for the position object and it got the status as active. It means now if you're trying to create position and it will take care of this validation rule. It'll, if this validation rule is not working the way we expected, it will throw an error to us. So if you go ahead and click on the position and we open the position that we just created, the software engineer. Now if you try to save this position, it should not allow you because now we have added a validation rule which takes care of this. So if you try to save it, it will throw you an error saying minimum pay should not be greater than the maximum pay. If you want to save this, this value should be greater. So I will make it as greater than the minimum pay. Now if you save this, it will let you save this record. So this is the validation rule that we have created. And this validation rule applies any, any kind of new positions that you create. For the existing positions and for the new position. So if I go ahead and create a new position, let's say I create a position for Java developer and the location I select is, let's say, Sydney, Australia. Minimum and maximum pay I give us 80,000 here and the maximum pay I give us 70,000. It should not allow me to do that because we have created a validation rule. It will give me an error. So if you want to save this record, it has to be greater than the maximum pay. Go ahead and click save. Now in this tutorial we learned about a validation rule. In the next video tutorial we'll create one more validation rule for this application that we're creating and also we'll talk about formula fields. Till then stay tuned and thank you.